Okay, everyone just wants to run everywhere. <laughs> this is great. No one wants to eat, everyone just wants to run. Uh <laughs> guys so today we're gonna talk about we have a runaway we gonna run away today we're gonna talk about the difference between the Brazilian cherry head which is this little guy and this one and then the um, the northern red foot so this one's the northern red foot and then cherry head now the northern red foot these are all from the same breeder it's southern um, reptiles right here by me in Loxahatchee um, the all right this one just wants to like they all just want to run like crazy they all just want to go everywhere okay <laughs> um so i got these two about six months ago so i think they were about three months old when i got them so they're probably like nine months old now they are growing really nicely really well this one is a northern um red foot and this one's also a northern red foot and then I just recently got these two little baby cherry heads, the Brazilian cherry heads. Now, I want to talk today about the difference between the two because when I first became interested in getting more tortoises, um, okay, everyone just wants to run everywhere. <laughs> this is great. No one wants to eat. Everyone just wants to run. Um, when I first became interested in getting the, uh, the cherry heads, I did some research. I'm like, okay, I have um, red foots already. What's the difference? Like, can I keep them together? Can I house them together? Can I feed them the same stuff? The answer that I found is yes. They are all, um, better be nice. I found that the uh, the larger ones are a little bit like the bullies. So I've been having to keep them all like um, supervised slash separated. Um, but I found that yes, you can feed them the same diet. They have the same um, scientific um, or Latin um, name, which is Carbonarius. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it basically means that they are the same species. Um, the uh, Brazilian cherry heads um, do, I guess, originally come from Brazil. Um, the only, there are three main differences. So I wanna talk quickly about those. It's gonna be a pretty short video. Um, just basically talking about um, the differences between the two. I'm going to make another video on kind of husbandry and like how to raise, you know, the hatchlings, what to do for the smaller ones, what to do when they get a little bit larger, and then for the full grown, like what their enclosure and all of that stuff should look like. Um, I do have a video of my husband made me an awesome tortoise table. Um, that's where these guys live. And then these ones are still baby hatchlings, so I have them in something a lot smaller right now. Okay, so there are three main differences between the uh, the Brazilian cherry heads and the northern redfoots. Um, the northern redfoots are a little bit larger in size. They typically reach about between 10 to um, 12 inches long in like shell length. Um, so they are a tad bigger. The cherry heads tend to stay smaller. Um, usually they stay between like eight to 10 inches. Um, of course, you know, there are the oddballs who will be a bit smaller, a bit larger, but um, in general, that's just about how big that they do get. Why do none of you guys want to eat? I see like someone took one bite out of a blueberry and that's it. They're normally like little piggies. I don't know what's going on. Maybe because they've, I've never had them on a table. I just have them up here for a video. So that's probably why. <laughs> um, um, the second thing that is different about these guys crawling all over my arm. The second thing that's a little bit different about these guys is that, um, is the color of their heads. Um, so the cherry heads, like the name says, they um, are hatched out with really, really red heads and they keep the really, really the red heads. Red foots, when they hatch, a lot of them do hatch with like an orange or a even like slightly red head. And over time, it will change to yellow. You can see with these guys already, they have a yellow head and then the red feet, um, and the red foot. Um, now the cherry heads also will have the red feet, but um, they have the cherry heads. And as they get older, they will keep the cherry heads and cherry heads. Um, another, and the third, uh, I guess, kind of noticeable difference when you look at these guys 
is um, their Plastron. Now, these guys are still way too young. They're under a year, but um, typically the, uh, the Northern Redfoots will um, sometimes have just more of like a lighter Plastron or the underside of their shell. And then the cherry heads, now these guys, you're not gonna be able to see on them at all, but I mean, this one, they do typically, as they get older, it does stay darker. Um, most of the shell will be kind of like almost black or like a dark brown. I mean, they will still kind of still have some, you know, yellow showing through, but for the most part, cherry heads do have a darker plaster on. So, um, other than that, like I said, their diet's pretty much the same. You can keep them together. Um, I have, I did research like about like breeding them because um, you know, some people, some people have bred them together. I'm not sure what you get. I don't know if you get like, if it's like a silky breeding where you'll get like half, um, or it'd be like 50-50. I don't know if it'll be half red, but I, my, I, I want to say, I don't even know. If I, if I had to guess, I think it would just be a giant mix, but I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that according to other breeders, it is safe to breed them together because they are technically the same species. So you're not going to get like something crazy or anything like that. But um, I think if I were to breed, I would definitely separate and just breed them correctly so that they are true um, Brazilian cherry heads and then true Northern Red Foots. I think that's what I would do. But yeah, those are the three differences. The major differences, you know, when you're looking at these um, reptiles. Um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, I've read that their temperament's pretty much the same. From what I could tell from having these guys as a hatchling, these hatchlings are kind of behaving exactly the same. Um, not noticing any noticeable differences there. It's kind of, uh, they're all really friendly. They love people. They love, when they see me, they get excited. They come running. They like to be around me. They do, they do like to interact. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.